All right. So tonight we're going to be playing the shapeshifting detective. This is from the developers who made Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. Uh, both games are on Steam. Both games are FMV uh, choice driven narrative games. Uh, very short. This one's three hours long or so. Uh, Dr. Decker's I think a little bit longer. And um, as the title suggests in this one you play a detective who can shapeshift into other people. So you're kind of investigating a murder and uh, yeah you can trick people into thinking you're others and get information that way. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. Um, I played it maybe five minutes just to test it make sure volumes were good. So this is actually uh, a semi-blind playthrough for me because I've never played it, but I have watched a little bit of it um, on Twitch before. When it first came out, I think it came out uh, less than a year ago, if I remember correctly. Yeah, sure. It has some cheesy acting, in my opinion, anyway. But that makes it kind of funnier. Look at this fancy intro. Fancy, fancy. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Ms. Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. Indeed. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. I like how he was standing off to the side here in silhouette, waiting for like the games director to be like, you're on. Come on, say your line. <laughs> All right, so I need to learn how to keep my mouth shut. So you don't actually have to say all your choices in this game. So I could say something, but I know he wants me to say, I, I know he wants me to keep my mouth shut. So you can actually delete the choice and say silent. You know why you're here, don't you? No, I don't. The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? So I've been caught before. Yeah, I think I can handle it. It's a rhetorical question. I don't care. You're going to a town called August. Oh, I just left July. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Yeah. Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. 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 Ah. So he knows I'm shapeshifter then. We expect you to use your ability. Yep. Just definitely don't does. Get caught. And never, ever change into a child. Never in a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Farley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. <laughs> and that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Poe and I'm Monroe. Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. Okay. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? How long can you tolerate me? As long as it takes. Yes. 
the chief said, it may be a while. I can see you don't mind getting your hands dirty, though. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. Ooh, she is cold. How can I profit off someone's murder? I already suspect you. Visitors? It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. Tarot readers? My it's favorite definitely. readers. This is the murder? Yes, the murder. <laughs> you haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief? <laughs> chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room. They're not even you. giving me an option. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. Left? It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Oh, yeah, I like, I like having just a back finishing. door. Just finishing. Are you predicting the future? You don't believe? Nope. That's okay. Sometimes life is just a stream of coincidences. Hi, I'm Bromley. Pleased to meet you. Pleased I'm to meet Sam, you, Sam. But I'll Definitely be you like at some point because I shapeshift. Ah, ah. Did I share that secret? I guess I've been caught. Sure. So, what's your question, Sam? Will I win? Are you guilty? <laughs> Let's go with that. That's funny. Oh. The Page of Cups. It suggests I'm innocent of whatever it is I'm being accused of. I'm going to be seeing a lot more of you, aren't I, oh. Sam? What if I was asking... I'm in room one and that's Sam the Hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. So which room are you in, Sam? What if I was asking, are you guilty of being innocent? Last time I laughed, you're going to find Good. out anyway. We're neighbors. Just knock if you need me. I might need an emergency Twice. card reading in the middle of the I night. invite spirits in. Oh. Okay, I can tune the radio. Unfortunately, they okay. don't work. I mean, I've had them hanging up at the station for a few months now. Unless... We don't need the radio on. I know that's going to be creepy real fast. Go to your room. We'll turn it on later. I'm sure they also say stuff that's important to the game at times. Hi, Cerise. Hey, look. I saw your chat message right away this time. <laughs> See ya. 100% improvement. Look at this comfy room. Oh. I have the choice to leave it. I just wanted to check out what the pillows were like, I guess. Alright. Let's go hail a cab. We gotta go see a chief. Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't sure you'd come. But I suppose you're between jobs? I don't think it's horror, no. I think it's um, like a, a bizarre mystery, you know? It reminds me a lot of like the early FMV um, games in the 90s and stuff, mid early 90s, where they all were like, a, you know, slightly odd. <laughs> They might have horror elements, though. We'll see. Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw. 21, the compass cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's for tarot readers. Hmm. I wonder if he knows I shapeshift, or he just knows that I'm under a cover and that's it. Why the tarot readers? Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs. To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. 
you do it. I wonder why this case is so important that they would uh, recruit someone from the outside to work under a disguise. I'll try. Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But if you help me out, I'll help you. What if I both touch and annoy people? Oh, where's my badge and gun? You don't get that. There's no badge and gun, just a hope and a promise. Well, you're going to find you your own find me when then. you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. Second Chance. All right. Let's start off making them aggravated. <laughs> do you have an alibi for last night? Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. Let's see. What do we know? Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? I am. I'm starting by asking the chief investigator what he knows already, so I don't have to retrace all his footsteps. Let's see. Tell me about her. What do you want to know? She was a cellist, selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. When was she killed? Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. Where was she? In her bedroom. She was naked. Strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. So only we know about it's it. One thing only the killer would know. Well, besides killer, of course. What about Violet? Uh, Paul here runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What she told you? Lovely lady or killer? I'm not gonna tell him what she told me. Look, if it's about the pills, I already know. What pills? All right. Got to go back to the guest house now. Wow. I can do quite a bit. All right, we met these two. Let's go see who Rain is. You must be a new guest. Or you're burglaring us. I'm Rain, by the way. I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. Well, that's a good way people to get people to stay at your guest house. Uh, we're turning off the hot water now. Good luck. How did you predict the murder? Hmm. What were you doing last night? I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't yeah, work. That makes sense. What didn't work? My prayer that the girl would be safe. How did you predict it? We did a reading, a group reading, actually, with a special tarot deck. What did it tell you? You get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered, young, talented, Probably redheaded. Tell me about the special deck. Mercury. It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. Can I see the Mercury? I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. She will show it to me now. 
What do you know about Dorota? I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. Hmm. Well, he already said he doesn't know her, unless he's lying. Let's say, who's the next victim? Next victim? Whoa! <laughs> Hold on a sec, we don't even know if there's going to be a next victim Who are you killing next, Rain? Tell the we'll truth. We'll do another group reading soon, and then we'll have a better idea. Man, if someone had just died, I'd be doing a group reading every night. You know, if I believed that it was telling me the truth. Let's see who Lexi is. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Me casa is me casa. You're all very welcoming <laughs> for someone having been murdered in another room. Hmm. What were you doing last night? I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were um, painting our nails. She had to think about that. Can I see your nails? No. I mean, yeah. I've already cleaned it off. Ah, you're lying. Why do you come to August? The cards told us to. Well, the cards of rain. Tara gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. What? I think it was Trigun the anime that had the towns named after months. You do whatever the cards tell you? No. Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. A job? I didn't say job. I said job. Let's just stare at her. Make her uncomfortable yeah. for a while. Yeah, it's a terror thing you won't understand. How well are you new Bronwyn? She's like my big sister, so pretty well. Do you think she killed Dorota? No. Do you know Dorota? I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously. And Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> How did you know she was going to die? Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smished them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? Hmm. Well, it's one of these two, probably. Let's go to Happy Squirrel. <laughs> You've done your research. The Happy Squirrel was vague and mysterious, but not evil. So what is the most dangerous tarot card? The Five of Swords. I think so anyway. So I was going to be There's wrong regardless. Than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota. And Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know. <laughs> swords in general are bad. Alright. You are very nervous. Alright, let's see. Let's talk to Bronwyn again. Sam, is it? Of course, I'm we've met already. sensing you're not here for a reading. Mm. Let me see the tarot. Mercury? Sure. I'll just get it. It feels a bit sacrilegious just spreading it out to show you. It doesn't really answer questions, it more asks them. Do you want it to ask you a question, Sam? Sure. Hmm. It wants to know if you're happy being the person you are now. Yeah, I feel great. Mercury doesn't agree. In fact, if anything, and I could be wrong, it's suggesting that you're not even the person you're saying you are now. Uh -oh, I've only had that reading once before. What's with these like slow erotic type scenes? <laughs> the director of the game is like, okay, I'm gonna have to put the camera right at you on the side over here. Where were you at 9 p.m. last night? Painting nails, In my right? Room, reading. 
No. I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. You gotta the collaborate the story if you know, if you're gonna violence. lie. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. Saved you? She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around yeah. nine, I think. You can ask her. You think Violet is trashy? I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. How did you predict We murder? saw it in the cards, not images, feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Oh, yeah. I like Old Republic. I um I played Knights of the Republic and uh, never beat it because I'm terrible at beating games um, but I need to beat it because <laughs> I loved every minute of it and uh, I didn't get to play the second one because I didn't finish the first and then when the MMO came out I didn't play it right away and I heard all the you know a lot of people didn't like it but I um I, caught, I played it maybe a few months after it came out and I could see what they meant like the MMO side of things weren't the best at the time but the story itself is great if you look at it as like a Knights of Republic sequel or a um, or like a a single player story game that just happens to have people around it's awesome I love a lot of the stories the Imperial Agent story um, of course, the uh, traditional um, Jedi Knight story and all that. Can't you ask who the killer is? Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. I have some questions about the murder. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. How well did you know her? I didn't. We've only been here two days. I understand it's suspicious me being a stranger in town, but it's the truth. Nah, eh, we don't need to say that. There's a lot more at stake here than you know, son. Like what? Well, if I told you that, you'd have nothing to do. She's pretty smug. Okay, no problem. Now we're visiting Violet. I assume you've been to see Chief DuPont already? Sure have. What were you doing last night? It's the strangest thing. I honestly don't remember. But I imagine I was here or getting groceries somewhere. How do you not know what you were doing? That's suspicious too. Have you ever been at Dorota's house? I've driven by it. Never actually been in it. Wait, wasn't Dorota staying here? If she has a house, why was she staying at the guest house? Who are other guests? They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave actually. Why do you want them to leave? Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. And yet the first time I met you, you said that maybe people will stay at the guest house more now that someone's been murdered there. Hobos? I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. Get the sign changed. Strange people, you say. Not upstanding young citizens like myself. Did you know Dorota? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. A precious lamb? Led to the slaughter? Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Everybody in this game seems like a killer to me. <laughs> I guess that's the point. They want you to suspect everyone. 
So Dorota was nice? Nice, yes. That's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Ooh, scandal. She was slutty? Tell Sorry. me more. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Where do I find her boyfriend? Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. I'm gonna tell him anyway, because that's how I roll. So why are you taking pills? I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. <laughs> I think that's I'm what they're for. I'm a very anxious person. If you're still a very anxious person, the pills aren't working. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. Yeah, they're for schizophrenia. Maybe that's why you don't know where you were last night. Alright, let's see... Let's visit Lexi one more time and see if there's anything new I can say. Nope. Alright. Let's go to my room. Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. I'm not a superhero. And yet, I can shift into other forms. That means something, right? I'm going to transform into Bronwyn and visit Lexi. I think that has the greatest chance Hi, I'm Bronwyn. of me getting information. I'm, I'm Bronwyn. 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 Leave. Lexi. Bronwyn, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Let's I'm talk about okay. our nails. I'm, I'm not, not okay. Well, if you're worried, I should be worried. Why are you worried? Should I be worried? Are you worried? Only if you are. This could go on in circles for a while. <laughs> Let's just keep cool and stay in our rooms. Oh, wow. She doesn't give me a chance to say anything else. Huh. Let's visit Rain as Bronwyn. Bron... Something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Tarota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Yeah, he comes across as the stop innocent it. one. Birmingham. Man, I can't say. Well, I can't say Birmingham, Birmingham without giving away that I'm, I'm not stop her. It. I mean, he, he'll probably just think I'm stop it. loopy, but. Yes, stop it. If it's a traveler killing things. Traveler? Traveler? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. Of course. You stop freaking me out. It's not cool <laughs> in this current climate. I'm Bronwyn. Let's go visit... Wow, I can't visit the chief. The chief wants me in jail. Hmm. Let's see what Violet has Is there say. something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the chief that Dorota would be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I run? You're prime suspect, aren't you? You look strong enough to strangle another woman. Even if you're innocent, a jury would probably convict you. You look strong enough to strangle another woman, too. Even... You look strong enough to... Well... If you can't pay for your rooms, you might just find out. <laughs> She's a bitch. Alright. Now, let's become Lexi. Because I really want to talk to Bronwyn Hi, as Lexi. I'm Lexi. Oh, um, oh. We're going to find all I'm the Lexi. answers. What's up, Lexi? I'm sensing something's on your mind. 
Yeah, my. I'm worried about our alibi. Skull. I'm worried about our alibi. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. You're just fine. Do you think Sam suspects? Maybe. But it'll be difficult to prove. All right. I feel like they're not killers. But yeah, they are trying to hide why they're there. And I think it ties into what Rain was saying. I think they're chasing after someone who's killing, but they know no one's gonna believe that. Something's weird, isn't it? Tom seems strange today. Time for me How to seem strange too. Do you think Bronwyn might get falsely imprisoned? It happens all the time. Are you looking to take over? No. I'm just worried. Right. Let's go talk to Violet. I'm sure Hello, she has something Lexi. nice to say. What can I do for you? Please don't ask us to leave. The police want alibis from everyone for last night. Well, I don't have one. I literally can't remember what I was doing. Please don't ask us to leave. Have you been speaking to Sam? You're safe for the minute. That sounds ominous. That sounds ominous. <laughs> if one of your crew did murder Dorota, you can't really stay here, can you? You mean I can't stay here if I've murdered someone? Why not? Alright. Hmm. Yeah, let's turn into rain. Go see the ladies. Hello, I'm Rain. Gonna make it rain. I'm rain. That's from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Lexi first. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about... The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Maybe she did kill Dorota. <laughs> uh... Nah. Oh wow. I thought there was it was gonna allow more dialogue. Probably. Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under twenty four hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's onto us? Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what exactly? What we did. The real reason we're here. Oh wow. Our role in our role in murder. What we did what we last did. night. The real, the real reason, reason we're, we're here. here. This is probably it. Sam's not a mind reader. At least I don't think so. Just try not to let anything slip. Hmm. Oh, wow. She probably stepped off to the bathroom. To my room. If she's in the bathroom, let's be her. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Lexi first. Hello, Violet. Is everything okay? I think all the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Tell me all your secrets. Did you have a, pleasant, you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. But you weren't in this room, were you? Oh no, was I sleepwalking again? I haven't done that since... for ages. I didn't come into your room, did I? No, <laughs> yes. Yes, you came into I'm my room. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I do that. It only seems to happen when there's a lot of bad energy floating around. Robin says I just stand there and stare. I didn't catch you, you know, not sleeping, did I? Just... That's that would be so creepy to wake up and just have someone staring at you. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be here? In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave, or you kick us out, 
obviously. How did you know Dorota was going to die? We didn't know she was definitely going to die, only that she was definitely in danger of dying. Tarot cards can tell you a lot when you know what you're looking for. Okay. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Yep. Why don't you let me pull a card for you? <laughs> no. okay, okay, it's gonna say you're the same as a detective. Great. What do you want to know about? Sam. The murder. The mu My love life. Ma Sam. 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 Let's roll with that. Ah. I think that's funny. The moon. A card of illusion and deception. It shines, but really it's just a dusty old rock. Seems there's more to our detective friend than meets the eye. Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well last night? Yes, thank you. No sleep I didn't night? see you yesterday evening. I stayed in my room. You can ask Lexi. That reminds me, I think I found a book of yours. It's called He Came Through the Shadows. What makes you think it's mine? Your name's written on the inside cover. <laughs> I got caught. Trashy romance. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to my room. Last person we can be is the chief. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, I'm Every Lexi. time I see those portraits, I think I'm going to their room. I'm Lexi. Sorry. Back to the chief. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Alright. So we're going to go see Lexi first, though. She's the most nervous and oh, likely to give all this stuff. Give me a shock. What is it? What have I done? You slept walking to my house too. Bronwyn. Why are you here in August? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? Do you know anyone here? No, I can honestly swear I don't know any Augustives. Augustonians? Augustans, until we got here. What were you doing last night? What were you doing last night? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a bronze can vouch for me. Yeah, having Tell two best friends vote for each other is. There's no credibility there. She's an Aquarius. Her favorite color is green. What else do you need to know? Has she killed Has before? she killed before? Is she your leader? Is she your leader? Yeah, we know Lisa, she's your leader. This isn't a cult. She looks after me and Rain. Make sure we eat healthy and brush our teeth. And do you brush your teeth? We need that information for the file. Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family. What does the tarot say about them? Are we never been arrested? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful, good type character. Ah, uh, D and D reference. If you play yep. D and D, have you ever been in trouble have with the police? Have you ever been in trouble with the police? Let's go with Lexi first. No, not to my knowledge. She's sweet and innocent. Or well, haven't you picked up on that yet? Dorota's family. What does the tarot? I can do a reading if you want. Yep. It's the Five of Cups. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. Okay. Now on to Bronwyn. Chief Dupont, what a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Third time's a charm. Really? Who are you really? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont? 
knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white. You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Well, perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. I'm fairly certain your last name's not really Castle. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? You're a con artist. You're a con artist. You're a murderer. You're I think it's more likely you're con. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. Wow. Not getting any further with her. Let's visit Violet since they know each other. Right Pills. Claude. How's Bronwyn been? How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to what do? What was again? it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. What were you doing that? Claude. We've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. Sounds like you need more pills. How can you not remember? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Actually, I can do whatever I want, because you probably won't remember this tomorrow. Alright, so I mean, I can hail a cab. I don't know if there's a purpose to hail a cab as anyone else. Um, I can maybe pick her and go see the chief. Hello, I'm Violet. I know they know each other. I'm Violet. Leave. Let's see if I can hail a cab as her. This has got to be a small house. It'd be so uncomfortable walking around hoping you don't bump into the, the, the person you're being. <laughs> What's going on, Violet? Is everything okay? Yes, I'm okay. No, I'm not no. okay. What's the matter? I don't feel. I think I, I think might be the killer. Be the, the new detective is acting strangely. I think I might be. Let's go with this. Have you? Have you? Stop taking the pills. Look, just take the pills. Dr. Tanner said you'd start hearing and seeing things again. You're no good to me like that. Just just take the goddamn pills. Look, off you go. I'm being subtle. I don't want to see you back here, okay? You got anything to report? Give me a call. Any problems? Talk to Danny. Danny, remember? Danny? Danny? We just talked about this. I said I'd post somebody this morning, and I did. Then I told you it was Danny. Take the pills, Violet. Take the pills. I don't need the pills. <laughs> I'm wonderful without the pills. Alright, so pretty much all I can do right now is transform into the other three and visit the chief each time. Or turn back into Sam. Let's... Man, if I, if I chose him and went to go see the chief, chief probably wouldn't be there. Let's go see the chief as the Hi. one that he suspects. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Miss Castle. I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorot. You're a prime suspect. And your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? Kinky. Kinky. Oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. You could arrest me for pushing. All right. Man, these, these uh, transitional load screens, they slow everything down. Go to your room, who I wanna be. I don't know if there's a purpose to visit the chief as these people. I feel like it's just nothing. Let's go back to Sam for a moment and see if anything's new first. Let's go talk to the chief as Sam, maybe. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. 
Police oh, investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. Well, what if I heard the Rota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. What? That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. That was such an odd thing to say <coughs> on air. Keep investigating next chapter. This next chapter, if we're done with that. Oscar. We want to see him, don't we? Who are you? You the boyfriend. <coughs> I'm a shapeshifting detective. Yeah, I'm a shapeshifter. Get out of here before I call the police. Uh. I told you to leave. When I see Chief DuPont, there's going to be trouble. Oh, that's awesome. Any more news on Oscar Wainwright? I'm a bit busy, Sam. Maybe you can go on my behalf. No, he doesn't want to see me because I'm shapeshifter. <laughs> Just the tarot readers. No one else is remotely suspicious compared to them. I'd add Violet for sure. Any reason for saying that? She's batshit crazy. Just a hunch. Hunches don't buy lunches. Just keep looking. Hunches buy bunches of lunches. All right. What do we know? Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. Mm -hmm. There's some talk about a traveler, whatever that is. Dorota's boyfriend Oscar is in the clear as far as I'm concerned, but I'm still waiting to hear what he tells you. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. Why is he one? I wonder him and Violet had a relationship. Come on, Oscar, talk to I me. told you to leave. When I see Chief DuPont, there's going to be trouble. Alright, well, we screwed it up with him, but it was funny. Hmm. Are they it? No, that's how you greet people. Why would someone kill Dorota? She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. Why not? Close to the family, you know? Her mother's seen her naked before. She was born that way. Not really, just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait shirt. photos done and started stripping off. You like to flaunt too. Weston's photographic. Zach Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, somebody's going to get upset. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. I am, man, aren't I? At Weston's photographic? Off the high road? It's late, but he's always there. Well, if he's always there, he couldn't have killed the victim. <clears throat> I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Uh-oh. You know about me? Know about you? Well, what is there to know about you, Sam? I'm being as I just suspicious mean as possible. A facade. a facade. Oscar seems nice, but for all I know, he tears pretty girls apart. Hmm. 
Hmm. Lexi. Hi Sam, back for more already. Yep. You want to paint my nails? It's time of the traveler. Traveler. That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Feels good. Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? Sure. Oh dear, <laughs> am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. All these rooms look the same. Sorry. <laughs> I was in Bronze Room. Ask her. No, I think Bronwyn met him, though. You'd have to ask her. Or him. It's not my place to say. It's because you're not good at quickly thinking of an alibi or lying, you know? Ask them, they lie better Sam, than I do. What can I do for you? Where were you before August? Birmingham. Lexi mentioned you're here to do a job. We're trying to save people. It's not working. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. It's noble. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there, either. The problem with travelers is... <laughs> oh. Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. No, it's not. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. We know how reliable those are. It kinda did. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards. But considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shore, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. She never heard of her. How did one person meet the boyfriend and all that stuff? No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. Tell me more about this board. Once we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just... <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um... Most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. Let me wrap my head around that for a moment. You think... that you're speaking to a time traveler who traveled to this time in the past and then died during this time but has knowledge of the future and spends afterlife answering questions about it? Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. If we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. Okay. Got it. Huh. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Tupol was breathing down our necks, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically, it'd be true. 
I think that's the second lie you fell back on. To protect Lexi. None of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. Um, I'm sorry, Sam. I, I never usually lie. Sounds like you never usually stop lying. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. It's Lexi's. I like to think it works the way most metaphysical things work. Through energy. Tarot things. cards, runes, Ouija boards. They're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. Did he tell you anything about Jerusha? He confided in me quite a bit, actually. He seemed to appreciate having someone to talk to, and he knew I couldn't tell anyone what he said. You can tell me. Oh, Sam. You know I can't do that. Sure you can. Tarot reader, client confidentiality. That's not a thing. All right. Violet. Wait, I already spoke to her. Never mind. So that means I spoke to... Everyone, is it time to go back to my room and transform? Your ability isn't endless. It will run, run out, out at some, at some point. point. So is this just an ability granted to me temporarily? Is it like a technology of some kind? Oh wow, I can turn him now. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? I want to talk to the chief as Oscar because they have some sort of bond also. So we'll do that first. Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Ah, why? that's why I wanted the tarot reading. Why? To find evidence that ties her into Dorota's murder. So this guy's sending a lot of people investigating. You're not the right man for this job. He really wants to find something on Bronwyn. Hmm. I wonder who else I could talk to as Oscar. They probably don't know him that well. Let's talk to Bronwyn now. Nope. See, so you can get in a room without talking to her. Let's see Violet. Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Ah, uh, can't even talk to her though. Hmm. Rain. Hmm. No one wants to talk to Oscar. Lexi. Where are they? They're all in the restroom at the same time. Alright, so. Hmm. Let's turn into her and talk to the others again. Hi. Now that I'm I know Bronwyn. more. I'm Bronwyn. I feel like that's where the magic's at. They look to her for guidance and all that. Rain. You're acting strange again. You can again. tell Sam about Birmingham. You can tell Sam about Birmingham. Well, what can I tell Sam that you haven't already? You know Sam likes a fact check. I don't really know, Sam. But if you're sure, then I guess I'm sure. What did awesome. you tell the police you were doing last night? I told them the truth, that I was in my room. I'm not sure if they can fact check it, but it's the only alibi I've got. I kind of wish we'd all stuck together now. When should we do another reading? You already told us, eight o'clock. Ron, are you okay? Eight o'clock tonight. All right. 
I'll see you later. Oh, Bron, I'm so glad you're here. We need to talk. We do. Is something wrong? No one can hear us, right? I mean, I'm assuming this room isn't bugged. Although, knowing Violet, there's probably cameras everywhere. You think Violet's a voyeur? Probably. I don't know. She has that look about her, don't you think? Like she knows something she's not letting on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's cameras hidden in the wardrobe. What have you got to hide? Nothing. Though I'd rather she didn't see me dancing around in my underwear. I only do that for people I love. Do you love me? <laughs> of course I do, Bron. See? And now that's on film. I hope you enjoyed that, Violet. Listen, we need to talk about our alibi. What about our... I know you said it would be better if we said we were together, but lying about your alibi, that's pretty serious. Are you sure it was a good idea? It was a great idea. No, lying makes things worse. No, lying makes things worse. Then why'd you tell me to do it? We could have just told the tell truth. Tell Sam the truth about everything, all right? What happened if right? they find out we're lying? They won't find out. We'll be arrested. Be arrest Don't let them arrest me, Bron. You know I couldn't handle it. I'd cry so hard. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I want to visit Bronwyn real quick. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Drake Stop. had a boyfriend. Oscar. The guy I met this morning. The one I told you about. Yes. What did he want? Answers. Reassurance. Forgiveness. Do you think he killed her? Not considering what he asked me to do. Okay. This is rain. I feel sad for Oscar. Bronwyn said to stay away from him and the family. We're drawing too much attention to ourselves. We won't be able to finish our job. Job? Are you wearing a wire? You know why we're here. Don't make me say it. Say it. No. Stop being silly. Hmm. I need to become Rain real quick. Hello. I'm then Rain. Sam and talk to Lexi and Rain. What do you think of Sam? Oh, I'll totally hit that. Apart from the whole investigating Bronwyn for murder thing, of course. But that's a minor flaw. I can work around it. I bet I, I bet she's saying Sam that likes you too. because of the flirt. Really? Well, you know, I'm not surprised. I am a total babe. Huh. So nothing important there. Don't forget the group reading, Ray. By which I mean, if you see Lexi, tell her not to forget the group reading. What's the plan? What's plan? We still don't know what we're dealing with. There's every chance that it could just be a normal human murder. What if it's not a normal... Then we have to assume that it's some kind of traveller. A traveller like in Birmingham? Yeah, like in Birmingham. Okay. I wonder if I can go to Lexi then and tell her not to forget the reading. Nope. Alright. Going back to being Sam. Go to room. Return to Sam. Alright, so now let's talk to Rain first, then Lexi. Tell me everything. Oh, you can't? Maybe next chapter. Uh stop. I didn't. 
if you find out, am I in trouble? Eh. Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was locked in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was, though. Cross my heart, hope to die. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Let's hear it. Cool, okay. So, Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. Go on. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Hooked on your every word. Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, I'm patient listening to achievement. Oh, so here's my point. You can't see it. The spirit world is it. actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. Wow. I know. Mind blowing. Well, if it blew minds, there'd be more deaths. Alright, so. Hmm. What about now? You got anything to say now? Huh? Huh? Nope. Let's go see Bronwyn for a moment. I can't remember who I talked to lately. Violet! Nope. Mm, chief? Nope. Yeah. Brown and Lexi are lying about their allies. Alibis. Vegas? Got any proof? They told me. Yes, I've got that. Good work, son. I'm impressed. You should be impressed. All right, well. All right, I, need, I have more transforming to do then. But who? Let's talk to Violet as the chief again. Hi, I. <clears throat> Hi. Ooh, I Hi, can uh, go talk to Oscar as the chief. Actually, that's even better. Can't believe I didn't think of that. Especially since I screwed Chief it up with the other guy. There's been loads of people coming around asking questions. I don't even know half of them. Did Dorota collect coins? <laughs> Did she collect coins? Because she had one in her mouth. Did Dorota collect coins? I was surprised. Has Sam been to see Sam you? See you the the detective? No. Wait. I get it now. Yeah. Someone dropped by. I'm not speaking to them though. You should. You should. Really? Alright. But I don't think they're taking Dorota's murder seriously enough. Bronwyn is Bronwyn still, prime, is still prime suspect. I know. I agree. Because she tipped you off? If I manage to get into her room, what am I looking for again? Anything that ties her to the murder. Anything that ties her to murder. Okay. That sounds easier said than done, but... I thought you already went to her room, though. Did Dorota collect coins? Not that I know of. She collected thimbles. Thimbles? She said she didn't need any. She had hard calluses on her fingers from old cello. Have you looked in Dorota's bedroom? Have you looked into Not since room? the murder. There's still a load of my stuff in there. So she died in the window, her house? It's on the third floor. I guess she did. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Violet, then switch back to Sam and talk to Oscar. So Why is Sam still questioning me? Do I need to bring up Mr. Hedges again? Mr. Hedges? Who is Mr. Well, Hedges? Well, that just... I would say something like, who what about Mr. Mr. Hedges? Hedges? Not who is Mr. Hedges. Exactly. I don't know what that means. What? Mr. Hedges. The man you asked me to put up who then, you know... And then what? And then what? And then we buried him together. What the so fuck? So nobody would find out any of this ringing any bells. So the chief... 
together. The chief wanted her to house some dude named Mr. Hedges, who then died, and then they buried him. That sounds like the chief killed him. Or this is all her schizophrenia, like she murders people. I don't know. We, not literally speaking. I oh, we didn't literally bury him. You took the body and you said you'd bury it, but you know, I'm an accomplice. We both be going Fucking down. dirty chief. I don't like him now. He's bad. Okay. Gotta go to my room. Gotta turn back into me. Actually. Yeah. If if this one doesn't end the chapter, I'll turn back. I'll turn to Violet and go see the chief. But let's go talk to Oscar first. As, as uh, Sam. It's me again. Where can I mention being a shapeshifter again? <laughs> Did you see her yesterday? What can you tell me about her parents? How long were you dating? Why did you go see Bronwyn? That's personal. I said I don't want to talk about it. No, not to me anyway. She wasn't into fortune telling or any of that stuff. Tell me about her thimble collection. Yeah, Chief DuPont told me. I think it's one of them that killed her. Bronwyn? <laughs> That's disturbing. I had to say it. That's impossible. I don't think those two ever met. Why would she say that? Well, if Bronwyn killed her, as you think, then they most certainly met, don't you think? Maybe they kissed before the murder. Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. Was she seeing anyone else? Like a photographer, no. for instance? Why? Chief DuPont said there was no signs of anything like that. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No. No, it couldn't have been. Watching the us? The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet. And I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Have you hidden in there before? Not hidden. Well, she, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies. Describe the fantasies. She'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet, and then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd finished. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? It is. Yes, it is. What was in the closet? We must know. Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. You guys only dated two months. Weddings shouldn't even be in the picture at all. Yeah, I went around there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work, and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. Okay. I don't know if this is them being guilty, suspicious, or bad acting, but these people... This is the boyfriend, just is not acting like someone who lost his girlfriend yesterday or last night, not even a full day ago. He's not that distraught or anything. I mean, they dated only two months, but still. I'm playing football. It was just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Tell me about her parents. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. It's 7 o'clock, and here's the latest All August right. update. We did everything we could Chief here. DuPont of August Police is urging residents to be vigilant tonight following the brutal murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Be vigilant. Whilst he stresses there is so no immediate threat to the community at bodies. large, residents should be on the lookout until the killer is in police custody. Miss Shaw was found strangled in her bedroom home last night. Oh, I heard she was found by her mother. Truly awful. 
Mother caught me up to all sorts of mischief in my bedroom. Also in the news, emergency services were called to the crossroads at Grange Avenue and Church Street following a collision between two cars. There are no reports of any serious injuries, but you might want to take a different route for now. Oh, no. It's going to be one of those nights, Poe. Stay with me, doll. I'll keep you safe. I'm not going anywhere. That's 7 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Poe and Monroe. Next chapter. Hmm. Now I can visit Zack. Let's do it. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow or make an appointment online. Hmm. Are you Zach Weston? Yes. Uh, what do you want? I want to know everything. Mm, Strauss hired. The Shores. Oh. You mean that girl who got killed? What was her name? Uh, Dorothy? Yeah, that was it. I see a lot of faces in my studio, but I'm not good with names. Wait. Dorota. Dorota? I remember now. Look at that smirk. He remembers something, alright. For the August Chronicle. Uh, she won some sort of award. I remember her cello. It kept reflecting the flash and ruining the shot. No, I. Went to her house, along with the reporter. It's better with these human interest stories to capture them in a natural habitat. If you ask me to drive there without my sat-nav, no. Is that the only time no, I actually, it? I've been running a special offer on portraits since she came in for a studio session. Wait there. see there's photos here there are the cello yeah now this one's in color beautiful hair oh legs wrapped around <laughs> another one here oh hang on do you see what i see do you see what i see Uh, I see nothing special. What do you see? Nothing. She's just a very attractive girl. That's all. Well, that was a trick question. I don't appreciate your games, all right? Did you take any other pictures? What do you if mean? You know what I mean? Huh? <laughs> Violet told me. Let's blame it on her. Violet needs to mind her own business. Yeah, I know, doesn't she? I don't mention them out of respect for the dead. You've heard of food <sighs> Sure have. Explain it's it. It's all very tasteful, food -wife. Photographs are all about leading the eye and letting the imagination do the work. Most photographers mess it up. It's not supposed to resemble a Victorian whorehouse. Yeah, she didn't say. Her boyfriend, I assume. Would you, uh, like to see them? <sighs> As you can see, it's all very artistic. The rotor was a natural. She lit up the front of the camera. <laughs> I like how you had One these readily video. available. Like they're just on this desk over here. Here they are. Oh, not that one. Ah. This is the one. Here you go. There's more. Show me. <laughs> I knew I was 
I knew it was gonna go down a deeper rabbit hole. Looks like she's strangling herself. What that? Huh? Did I just predict the ending? Did she strangle herself while touching herself while someone hid in the closet? We'll find out. And this guy is so creepy. She's, uh, um, how you say, um, acting? You are lying. So you friends with Violet? Friends? Yes. I know Violet very well. Very well, eh? How well? Violet takes it very well, actually. I like him like that. With a frosty exterior comes a soft, warm center. Hmm. I'm sorry, my analogy wasn't explicit enough for you. Yes. We have sex. Where were you last night? Here. I'm usually here most nights. Can anyone confirm that? Only the roof rats. Why are you here so late every night? If you have no one else here with you to collaborate it. Is it because... I mean, if you're doing photography, maybe he's uh, processing photos, you know, or something. I don't know. So I visited Zach. Um, let's go. If you have anything else on Zach Weston, let me know. And I'm all for a good boudoir picture, but who is it for? There's definitely a strong connection between those two there. Well, unless they were for Oscar, I don't know. Unless there's someone else about to come out of the woodwork. That's what he says. That's what he says, but no one can back him up. He's on my radar now. I, I think you're supposed to tell me that. If he was taking photos of Dorota, maybe he fell for her? And the feeling wasn't mutual. Artists have muses, apparently. Wish I had one. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. Zach says he's sleeping with Violet, which I doubt. Zach did other photo sessions with Dorota. Boudoir. I wonder what else he's not telling us. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. You're still following up Birmingham. Keep me posted. Yeah, you mentioned the word traveller to me, but he's not one. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Okay. Let's see Oscar again. Do you know Zach? No. Who's that? Well, he knows your girl. He took photos of her. Okay, so this Zach guy was connected to Dorota. He took pictures of her. Are they sleeping together? I don't know. You can tell me if she was. I don't care. Look, I mean, if you're going around asking all these questions, if you find out anything like that, I want you to tell me. Hmm. Of course. Thanks, Sam. Don't let me mourn if I shouldn't. Who hey, what? Boudoir photos. So he didn't know about it. She sent some private photos to me by phone. Do you mean them? Can I see them? Yeah, yeah, I'll put them in an album for you. No. I don't even find any of them attractive, but I feel like I should, I don't know, say whatever is most shocking to them. See what they say. Keep it interesting. Violet. Let's talk about him again. Uh, do we really have sure to? Sure do. He says you're sleeping together. How vulgar. Yes. 
I suppose that is what he'd say. But I've never let him lay a finger on me. He says we're in a relationship, but he doesn't act like it. Why doesn't he act like he it? He thinks he's irresistible to women. <laughs> he's no. definitely not. Oh, no more to say. What is this? Creepy little girl, who are you? <laughs> I will shapeshift into you and break all the rules. <laughs> yeah, you're you're very strange. You definitely you're definitely caused the murder here. We've wrapped this one up. Lexi, tell me everything. We've got to stop meeting like this. Seriously though, Sam, I'm working. Can't it wait? Just give me to wait, okay? Isn't eight when the thing is? You forgot already. Rain. Hmm. So Birmingham? Fine, Sam. Birmingham. Mercury took us to Birmingham. We didn't know what for. We never really know what for. But we turned up. It started with a girl. Ginny. She was South African. I only mention it because that was its thing. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but in hindsight, really? it was after South African girls. Three, to be exact. The Traveller wanted three. You should ask Bronwyn. She's the one that knows about rights. I just know it normally involves three, and all three share a common oh, attribute. Oh, so we have three redheads this time? I guess you might call them demons, in as much as they can get inside us. They come from other worlds. Hmm. Other worlds? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Quantum physics is real, didn't you know? <laughs> um, there are many universes. In technical terms, a traveler is a trans-dimensional being far more superior to us, in as much as they can choose which reality to hang out in. We just get this one. Yes, disturbingly. It's actually a lot more complicated than that. Um, they choose a reality slash universe where they actually evolve to become the person they're possessing. So they jump in a few million years before our I'm timelines the intersect. They can't just jump into someone. It takes a few hours for that. They make the decision before they travel, which is why we can catch them. Yes, probably. The tarot doesn't just sat nav us to normal murders. I met him yesterday, doing the rounds, looking for reading work. Actually, he... Oh, no. Um... He did mention the rotor. He said there was this girl he was planning to meet up with. And said she was alone every Monday night because her parents go to the cinema. Do you know what that means? It was the road to shore. Hmm. I still think he was in the closet. Let's see here. We visited them. Let's talk to Bronwyn. <sighs> Sam. Look, I can't talk right now. I'm doing well, phone readings. I've got to pay for a job somehow. Contact Lexi's you on the phone locked in too late too. I can sort you out afterwards, yeah? Uh, let's see. I spoke to Violet. Now I can be this dude. I'm Zach Weston. I'm just sharpening my just powers. Just sharpening of my powers of persuasion. Definitely need to talk to her. Oh, I did that again. Hello, I'm Violet. I don't know if I'm being ridiculous or I'm if this is just bad, Violet. poor design, but I don't think they should leave the portraits up. Um, I should probably take I'm you Zach out of the room. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. But I guess that's not how it works. Alright, so, talk to Violet. 
Who's my sugar honey? Zack! What are you doing here? Oh, quick, don't let anyone see you. Oh yeah, you put in your head like that, Why no one will know it's you. <laughs> so, if the Traveler's after three redheads, Violet's gonna be one of them, I assume. Why don't you want anyone's- Hey, are you happy to artist dead? I didn't say that. But we both know what Dorota was like. She practically threw herself at you. She didn't throw- Why do you think that? The boudoir sessions. Some girls get the wrong idea. Yeah, they do, I don't saw they? saw how she was looking at you. With her she eyes! Was. She was looking at me with her eyes! You saw the photos? You saw the photos. I'm thinking photos. I've seen all your photos, Zach. I've seen Zach. all your photos, Zach. All of them. All <laughs> I knew she was going to take it like, Why take it that far. What? what? You're the one who said we shouldn't be seen together. What are you doing here? Wait, so it's I his idea sure for them not to be connected? We shouldn't be seen together, but then he's talking about sleeping with her? I want to make sure we're still okay. What did you do? What did you say? I told to him Seth? everything, Violet. Everyone's talking about Dorota. I know. But I suppose people like that attract trouble. People like what? Home wreckers. Anyway, I hope you didn't just come here to talk about Yeah, I did. Just about Dorota. her. Hmm. Rain, maybe? Zach, let me stop you there. Um, you are <laughs> one creepy fella. fellow. Now, I, I don't know what you had going on with the rotor, but I don't want anything to do with it. Do not come back here. Please. I'll do what I want. You can't stop me with your tarot cards. Um, I want to see Oscar as him. Nope. Chief? Nope. Okay. Hmm. So what's the next natural step? Um, transforming her and going to Zack. Yeah, that would do it, I think. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Well, hello, gorgeous. I came over last night, but you weren't here. I came, I came over, over last, last night, night, but you weren't, but you here. weren't here. Well, that explains why there was no answer when I called you. I was definitely here. Did you huh. hear about Dorota? Everyone in town's heard. She's a local celebrity now. Local celebrity? Were you sleeping with her? Violet? <laughs> of course not. That homewrecking bitch? I only have eyes for you. That's not what That's I That's not what I heard. This again. I told you. I'm not seeing anyone else. I have gorgeous women in my studio all the time, but you're special. Not because you won't take off your clothes, I'm expecting that at some point, it's just... You're so clever and well-educated, and the icing on the cake. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Hmm. Let's make her visit Chief again. Nope. Why not? Let's visit Oscar. Nope. Mm-hmm. Huh. Hello. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. 
Let's go see if we can interrupt the phone reading people. Whoa, did that say Jenny's on the door? Wasn't that the person from Birmingham that was going to get killed or something? Or is that the name of the... Maybe I misunderstood. No one's there. Hmm. Let's go visit Zach with him. Rain! <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here. I take it you know about Dorota already. All that stuff we talked about yesterday. That's strictly between you and me. And the newspapers. <laughs> That's the spirit. <clears throat> now, I think it's best if we don't get caught speaking to each other. Overcautious, I'm sure, but I think it's for the best nonetheless. Maybe we can get together for a lad's night out after this is all blown over. A yeah. lad's night out? No, thanks. Okay. Great. I'm well, sure I'll see Rain you soon. I appreciate me saying that. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I switch to Zach and I visit Oscar. Did I try that? Oh, yeah, I did. What if I become Oscar and go visit Zach? I don't know. Go to my room. There's something I'm missing here. I don't know what it is, but I'll I'm find Oscar. out. Is there anything else I can do? <clears throat> Ooh, he's always here all night. Sensing the thing with Bronwyn went badly. Why did you put me up? Why did you put me up? I need all hands on deck. You're a hand. At least I thought you were. Nothing happened. Never mind. At least you tried. Is there anything else? No, you've done enough. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Make those speeding tickets go away, though. Technically, you'd have more points than a hedgehog if I kept them. And if I do catch you speeding in August again, Oscar, instant ban. Capiche? No more speeding. Yes. 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 Hmm. I'm running out of ideas. Wait, if I... Can I transform into Lexi or... Bronwyn? Nope, because I can't possibly get away with that. Um... Let's talk to Violet. Hi, I'm. Mm. Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Nothing. Even the Chief can't get in. What if I... Hello. The chief is at Zack. I know you. <coughs> You're the police chief. I sure be. What type of photos do you take? We met briefly, yes. I freelanced for the August Chronicle, and they did a story about her. Was that the first time you met her? The... That's right. We exchanged a few pleasantries. I happened to mention my portrait services, so she booked a session with me. When was A few weeks ago. For the paper. Record shots that any idiot with a phone can take. My studio is where the magic happens. The magic? Mainly portraiture, but I dabble in other areas. Boudoir photo. Sometimes, if that's what the client wants. Are you asking for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> the chief wants these it's photos. The Don't be facetious. It's, it's for the for case. case. Of course. <laughs> That's funny. Chief? Chief. Again? Again. Yeah. Did Dorota have any... She didn't really use any social networks. Didn't have the time. Mainly just... Cello, cello, cello. 
Got any clubs or groups? No, she didn't email much. She checked the messages on her phone. What is it you're looking for? Anything. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Did we try that? Yeah, we tried that, Steve. Pretty sure I covered everybody. I guess I could try. No. On Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers. The only of person I haven't visited with Zach, I think, was the chief. Maybe. Of course, I can turn back into Sam. Let's try this though. Nope. I think I may have tried visiting Nasca already. Yep. All right. Let's turn we'll turn back to Sam and see what happens. Talk to Rain maybe again or something. I am Samuel. Mm, Violet maybe. Did I already talk to her? Sure did. I feel like I've done just about everything, but obviously I have not. Max trying to hide something he said to you yesterday. I bet he is. It was that thing I told you about Dorota. I mean, I didn't know it was her then. He wanted to show me these explicit photos of her. <laughs> he wanted but to I show refused. The photos. And that's when he told me about her being alone on Mondays. I wonder who else he told that to. Was that the clue? The only person he would tell it to is Violet, probably. But no, nothing new. Uh, I feel like there's more between Zack and Vi that I haven't seen yet. It's 8 o'clock and time oh, for another August do. update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night yeah, in what the chief house, is calling a puzzling house. crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket or a cap. Or wear or the jacket, jacket in the cap. Yeah. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Next chapter. Sam, um, I've got news. Uh, we've done a reading. Uh-oh. The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. Someone's gonna die. He has hairy it's not the Knight of Wands. hands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of playing all three again? One in 474,552. Only a traveler would I know that. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. But then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Let's find out. Ellis Munro. Is that the radio girl? Ha. Huh. Let's visit Ellis. You're the girl on the radio. You must be Sam. Unconnected to the murder, so why are you expecting me? I think you're unconnected to the murder. I just got off the phone with Chief Oh, Dupont. okay, Chief. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Well, you have red hair. 
Hmm. Tell me about Poe, not the guy on the radio. They're co-hosts on the radio. Oh, <laughs> sorry. You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. Partners or friends? Can't we be both, Sam? Poe's his radio name. He's actually John Poe. He's on air now, but you can come back at 8.30 if you want to see him. Where were you last night? On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. Have you had any private sessions no. with him? Don't lie. Zach keeps asking, but I just He's don't want to. He's irresistible to women. Not for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. She looks oh, wow. amazing. Okay, so Dorota was hooked up with this girl. Yes. We were... friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing a cello, you know? I guess we talked for a little while and then she asked me for a drink after the show. After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just gonna chat, watch a movie, be in the closet. that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. She kissed so, the girl and she liked it. I kissed her back. This is just between us, right? Us and the newspapers. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. You guys need to look up the definition of friend. You guys were definitely more than friends i'm not going into detail sam we pledged each other multiple times is this why you strangled her oscar yeah she was a bit confused when we started seeing each other she didn't she didn't like him touching her anymore i didn't mind but she did so i told her if he wanted to get sexual then Maybe she should try something else. I said some guys like to watch. So... Tell him it would be sexy if he could look but he couldn't... Touch. As far as I know... It worked. So I think the murderer watched her in the same way. Yeah, let's say that. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. That doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No. She seemed to be someone seeing Someone she knew. People. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. No. Sorry. I, mean, I did have a strange dream Poe. last night, though. I was and a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. Sounds like a good dream. What do you think that means, Sam? Makes you anxious. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe you're being. Maybe, uh, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or mine. Maybe you're being eaten up inside from the murder you committed. I will protect you. That sounds reassuring. I hope it's not just words, Sam. Yeah, it's just words. 
You've kind of just asked about Dorota since you got here. Okay. Well, that was strange. Sal? You forgot your phone. I still want to know who the little girl was that creeped me out at the uh, guest house. Alright, let's see. So we know Alice. Um, I'll be able to turn into her now. Let's visit Jack, uh, Zach again. Do you know Alice? Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. He's got this smug look on his face every time he talks, like he's trying to think of who he wants to convince me next that he's sleeping with. Do you have photos of her? I always get the shot, Sam. One way or another. Even if you have to kill them? Man, why would you say that to an investigator that way? Oscar's gone. Chief, what's up? Sam. Do me a favor, go easy on Violet. Nope. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. You just don't want me to find out about the body you buried. We've got a new target. Alice Monroe. Alice said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she got Ah, uh, you can't see She told you where jokes. John Pope or Poe is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. Bronwyn and Lexi lied about being together last night. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. All right. Now that we sum that up. Violet. Ah, uh, little girl. The murderer. Hi, Violet. The chief told me to go hard on you. you. To ask all the difficult questions. Oh, hello. This is my godmother. Oh, hi, Sophia. Sophia. She's only nine, and she's a When do you plan genius. on murdering Alice? Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Oh, great. Leave Otherwise, me the girl. I might have to smother you in your sleep. Why would you say that after someone just died of strangulation? What's your name? I'm the boogeyman. No, you're not. I've seen the boogeyman. You are the boogeyman. I don't look like you. Do you want to know a secret? Yeah. Violet was taken by aliens. Yeah. Ship. Was it last night? She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I Don't help worry, you? girl. I won't tell anyone what you told me. So, Sophia mentioned aliens? She has a wicked imagination for her age. <sighs> Do you think you're abducted? Do you think you're sitting here now? Perception is reality, Sam. That's a good point. I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. Did the aliens probe you in any way? No, you. Apparently. Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that nope. I'd rather stay We're locked up. Vault. We need answers. No. Not even the moon. Why are you bringing the moon into this? Yeah, tell me about the aliens. Chief says. I don't really want to. Listen to the chief. Tell me. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. Drip. Drip. Cold tap. Drip. 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 <laughs> it's like I'm predicting the text. And then it began. It's so poorly written. I could smell iron. Much like my jokes. Strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. 
and then weightlessness, like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. The first time. It's happened five times, even on Clozapine. Yet Pills that strange don't scare them. aura then gone. I tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. But all the scans were normal. Did they take you to a cold hospital like room? No. I have certain flashbacks. Tell me. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, hmm. or prisoners, being experimented on. They rearrange us like decorations, suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. Hmm. You know an interesting thing about aliens? Whether or not you believe alien abductions exist, and I personally do not, it's not that I don't think <clears throat> life in the universe exists beyond us, because I do. I think it's very possible. I just don't think it's remotely anywhere near us. But, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, no one knows for sure. But here's the thing. Whether or not you believe alien abductions exist, the one thing that is fishy to me is that when you go back in history and research claims of alien abductions the stories and this is not my own original thought I've, I've read mention of this but the stories that people use to describe alien abductions are relevant to the times so for instance during our current era of technology and um, modern medicine and everything usually when someone's abducted by aliens they talk about a, a white sterile room much like our hospitals you know and being cut open or or probed but if you go back to like the medieval age, ages when they believed in magic and fairies and all this they would describe alien like species from other worlds abducting them um, they would explain the setting as almost like a fairyland, you know, because that's what they believed in back then. And so when you look at that and you're like, okay, everyone who's abducted describes their abduction and the, the setting uh, where it took place, where they were brought, is in line with what their beliefs were at the time, then that seems to imply it's a human invention and the abductions didn't take place. <clears throat> it could also be um, people with uh, auditory or visual hallucinations too. I, I don't know. Of I like think about that sort of stuff. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> yes, I believe I did. Was she a homewrecker? She was here once for something. Trying to steal your Zach, making him ask for nude questions against his will. Uh, nude questions. Nude pictures? Okay. Bronwyn! I want to read your cards. Hmm. He said you know about A rights. little bit. Ain't that right? What did you want to know? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming-of-age ceremony. We've all known about them for hundreds of years. We just know them by different names. Demons, skinwalkers, Jack the Ripper. 
They're all travelers. Three attempts? Yes, that's likely. But three victims? That's up to you, Sam. No pressure. <laughs> I can't tell about the coin in the mouth. Can't do it? No. I can do a reading if you want. I want to see if someone ever mentions it. Read. Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. So many cups. Is Zach a suspect? Something feels wrong. He's too smug, too self-congratulating, like he's got away with something. Hmm. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything Should about her. Should I do a reading her. of her? I want to help, though. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. Huh, they're both redheads. Yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. I need your help. Yes, of course. Anything. Hmm. I've already been doing that, but sure i'll keep at it maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out yeah maybe well okay what's up i heard it was gonna rain tonight yes i met her at the radio station i was offering my services Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. A butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. because he said he'd see us again in August, before we even knew it was a month and a place. Hmm. <clears throat> so how are you gonna stop him if he knows what's coming too? So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Everyone wants to help. Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. Dance for me. Hmm. You got it. Me and the spirit world are going to have a serious chat. I'll get back to you when I find something. I probably should have sent her after Zach and... Got Bronwyn to watch Violet, but I'm going a supernatural route. Okay, time to turn into. You're some only peeps. alive because we want you to be. You're only alive because we want you to be. Who is talking to me? I mean, the guy from the beginning, I guess. But hmm, let's turn into Ellis. Hi, I'm Ellis. I'm Ellis. Okay. I think it's time we go see Zach. No. Oh, that was his chance for nude photos. He lost it. He missed it. Hi, Oscar. Uh, I was sleeping with your girl. Hi, Chief. Wow, no one wants to see Ellis. No one wants to see Alice. I just unlocked her and I can't talk to anybody just about. Everybody went collectively to the bathroom. Why was Alice even an option right now? 
All right, so. Hi, I. <clears throat> Let's go talk to Violet about the aliens. Hi, hi, I'm Chief Dupont. Claude. Claude. Jeez. Can't talk to her about aliens. Let's go see Ellis. Chief DuPont. Thanks for calling in. No probs. I'm just checking your... At the moment, my heart's beating a thousand times a minute and I can't sit still. Every noise or knock on the door makes me jump out of my skin. And I keep looking behind me. Is that safe? What if the killer's in front of you, though? Have I ever let you down? While you're looking behind, you die. Have I ever let you down? Did I ever even talk before? Yes, actually. Last year? With Dennis? Remember? Dennis? Dennis? Yes, Dennis. <laughs> Is it another body the I buried? The stalker who broke into Radio August chloroformed me, tied me up. After stripping me down to my underwear, I told you about him. Four, five, six times? And you never did anything! Chief DuPont, yes! I'm scared! He... He never did anything under those circumstances? What kind of cop is he? Hmm... Chief, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, is it about the boudoir photos? Is it about that? Yeah. It is so true. It's True then. I haven't seen them. I'm sorry. I'm just in shock all the time. How how could she be so different? I just can't process it you all. You need to upgrade your processor. What did you? Am I still a suspect? Yep. Yeah. But I was playing football, and there was loads of witnesses. How? Maybe it was a shapeshifter. Everyone is a suspect. You killed her after and playing the body. It takes half an hour. To get to football. And what? I left her in the boot while I went to have a kickabout. Yeah. I'm starting to see why the hair had sounded. <laughs> um. Alright. Hmm. Who do I transform into now? Violet? Where you at, Violet? Hello. I'm Violet. I'm Violet, and I'm blue. I'm Violet. Because violets are blue. Mm. Do you know why they say violets are blue? Because they didn't have a word for the color that we now call violet, so they just referred to it as blue at the time. I believe that's the truth anyway. Oh man, I did Hi, that I, again. <clears throat> I distracted myself Hi. by talking about nonsense Hi, and I DuPont. clicked the wrong one again. I'm like the only person, I, like I said, I've watched this on stream before and I've never seen anyone else make that mistake. Hello, I'm Violet. I mean, I don't know any spoilers. I think everything I'm I watched was Violet. prior to this point in the game, but I seem to be the only one that just clicks without thinking. All right, let's see. We're going to go talk to the chief for a moment. Nope. Hey, Oscar. I don't really expect anything to come from that, but. Hello, lovely. Take a look Take at a look this at photo this. of another girl. Yep, I knew he was gonna do that. Are you trying to make her jealous? I don't want to see pictures. I don't want to see pictures. You're kind of. It's not like that. It's just a press photo. They made sure to get the the watch in the frame. Anything in it? Look, what do you what see? What do you see? I'll just, just ask mind playing tricks, one. I guess. Sometimes when I drink enough, when I'm alone enough, I can step into them. Step into the fur? Step. It's like a hologram. The pictures become three-dimensional and I can move around inside them. Like virtual reality, but real. The picture comes alive. When I'm inside it, things move around. They talk. 
You two what are a match. Say? You talk to photos. She gets abducted by aliens. What do they say? In this one, it's just a rota. So I'm in her living room. She says that she should have been nicer to me. And I should make her be nice. You're insane. You're insane. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm just messing with you, Violet. Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Guess it didn't work on you. Ah, I ruined the moment there. Let's see. Visit us. Nope. All right. Back to the room. We can transform into him. I don't think I did that yet. I'm Zach Weston. Just sharpening my powers person. of persuasion. Gotta to talk to Ellis with him and Violet. I need to talk about Ellis. What have you been doing with Ellis Monroe? Everything. So what many positions. Been doing? What haven't I been doing? <laughs> so irritating. Want to want to fool around? Is that really yeah, that's all, all you think like. about? Starting to look like August has a serial killer targeting redheads. Look at my hair, Zach. That Does doesn't this look, look red to you? He doesn't go after dyed redheads. What's with this angle? That's such an odd angle. Seems like they let Zack hold the camera for that one. Zack? What are you doing here? I need nude photos. I've been a naughty boy. I need to tell <laughs> my previous partners. Good to know. I'm not one of them though, so... Unless there's anything else? Pose for me. Pose for me, pose. let's sleep together. Let's sleep. They're both bad. Pose for me. Zach, please stop asking. It's not gonna happen. This game makes That's me feel good. like a, a, a creep. Are you bullying me into taking my clothes off for you? She's That's cut this sleazy. Short. Just leave, Zach, before I call Chief DuPont. <laughs> let's see. Let's visit Oscar. Nope, didn't think so. Okay. I guess I could be picking better answers. But I'm going with what seems interesting. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Um, Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. Nope. I need to go confront Ellis. Oscar, I'm so sorry. What can I do? How about ya... Have you seen the Rosa? Unfuck my girlfriend. Oscar... It's so much more complicated than that. Why didn't you save her? Why didn't you save her? I couldn't. I was live on air. I didn't know what was happening. Well, nobody knew what was happening. The killer knew what was happening. Dorota Don't make this knew what my was fault, happening. Oscar. Please. Okay. Huh. Oscar, good. You got my message. Got some things to show you. Have you photos to show me? What have you got? Does um this mean anything to you? Mm-hmm. It means That's my girlfriend was a whore. And what if I showed you this? Who's that? It's Monroe. Oh, it's Ellis. It do you know her? Look like her that much? She's from the radio. She's from and the radio. And if I do this. He is weird. No. Anything? Unnecessarily so. What are you doing? What you doing? 
That'll be all. Oh, that, that was all. That was the bird and the bees talk. Huh. Okay. Let's return to Sam. It's nine o'clock and That's you're listening to Radio August. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night in what police are describing as a puzzling case. Residents are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. That's nine o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Nine Let's visit Poe. You're the detective. Monroe just called. This is madness. Who would want to hurt her? Tell me about Dennis. Dennis Piper, or Victor, as he's now known. An over-affectionate fan that read one too many Lovecraft novels. Tried to sacrifice Alice, would you believe? Lucky I was here to save her. Yes, Dennis became Victor and moved to Sweden under the witness protection scheme. Why is this the guy going to talk that way? Story I don't know about. That speaks of a major insecurity, you know? You remember close? We've worked together for years. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon, the diamond to my lump of coal, she told me to say all those things. Heavens no, I have a wife and three children, beloved spawn of my loins. Monroe and I are good friends, that's all. Tell me about August. You know, this town is fascinating. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of Yeah, August? I hear it's to die for. Tell me more. The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here, and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. But that's not what really happened. What really it's happened? true that Mary August was a pirate, but she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town, this one. Go on. They slaughtered everyone. Men, women, and children. Even their pets. All dead and dismembered in their own homes. The bodies were dumped in a mass grave. Well, the body parts. And the pirates moved in. No one knows. Underneath the guest house? At some point... <laughs> It was oh. built over and then forgotten about. It could be under the school or the church or right beneath our feet. Only a madman or woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe, that was her idea. We know it's the radio station. She has all the best ideas. The Free Radio Project, as well. That was her doing. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, hairdressers, Doctor surgeries? House. Does it really help during a surgery to listen to radio? I guess it is high stress. But would it be distracting? She's forcing people to listen to you. Yeah, is she? That's cynical, detective. Not at all. 
we aren't the only show on the radio. We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. Do you think whoever killed Dorota planned yes, Mr. Monroe? What makes you think she's in danger? The tarot reading predicted it. Tarot? You know how reliable that is. Does this have anything to do with the gentleman who stopped by? What gentleman? I didn't get his name, I'm afraid. He offered to do a spot on our show. Doing tarot readings to uh, answer yeah, listener rain. questions. We said we'd think about it. Okay. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. The show must go on. Death threats be damned. Look after Monroe, detective. This She's is a guy that's thoroughly I've full of gone. himself. Okay. Let's visit Alice again. What's up? I delivered radios all over town. I don't think I should have bothered with some of them, though. I don't think... Violet, is it? Violet doesn't think like Violet anyone. I me very much. Maybe she was jealous. Maybe. I don't know why anyone would be threatened by me, though. I'm not interested in stealing anyone's man. No, but you're interested in stealing men's women. Hmm, Zack? Oh, where are you going to be in the next few hours? Probably right here. Why? I didn't realize I was under house arrest. Well, you are. You should probably go somewhere where there are witnesses. Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not the only suspect. Hmm. Well, hey, good. I'm going. There's too many people asking questions. It's exhausting. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but... I've said everything I can say. All right. Did he just leave his apartment and leave me in it? He's like, ah, you stay here, chill on the sofa. I'll be gone for a while. And he's not even on here anymore. Interesting. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Heavy rain, huh? Tell me. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. But he does have a criminal record. He told me he hasn't been arrested. He lied to me. What do you mean generate codes? Your, your self codes without limit. I'm not he was clicking charged that. with the murder of a 21 year old artist. Looks like he got off on the technicality by all accounts. I'll tell you what. You write me a 500 word essay on why I should click that link. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. If you're going to ask him about this, it could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. Doors behind you. One moment. We gonna deal with this for a moment? I'm doing this right. Nope, apparently I'm not. But I will figure it out. And another time. I don't feel like it right now. Rain's no suspect. No corroborated alibi. Bromman Castle has one. Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Rain met Ellis when he was touting for work. 
and gets around quickly. Ellis knows Violet because of the free radio project. Ellis thinks Violet doesn't like her very much. I'm not sure I like you very much. Where's the proof? Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Hmm. Got it. Pop. Mm. Leave. It's now ten o'clock. Here's your August update. Wow, was that the whole thing for that? Last night's murder of twenty-one-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer mm. still at large, Chief Dupont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Ellis, if you're listening. Let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. Next chapter. August's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens would be normal right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? How did he know I know about the aliens? I'll protect her at her house, send an officer at her house. Tell her to leave town. That would actually be a good, good call. One. If she's not here, she can't get hurt. Well, she can get hurt, but it's unlikely. I don't understand. Unlikely. You're staying here, but you want me to leave? Where should I go? Where's the car and drive? Are you sure this is a good idea? Sounds like a great idea. How do we know the Canada doesn't have a car? Okay. That makes sense, I guess. I hope I don't get it killed. I'll get going then, Sam. Be careful. Other than being a homewrecker, she's pretty nice. Well, she wasn't really a homewrecker because the guy didn't know about her. So the home wasn't wrecked, but, you know. Technical sense. Is she gonna die? She shouldn't be there. She left the lights on. So much electricity wasted. She deserves Sam, to be murdered. It didn't work. Ah. Uh, we found her in a lay-by off the main August High Road. Strangled. Same gold coin in the mouth. How the hell did this happen, Sam? You need to get back to the guest house straight away. Those tarot readers say they have another target. Son of a bitch. It's 11 o'clock. My good friend and co-host Ellis Munro has died. Her life was I'm ended sorry. a short while ago by, mm. we think, the same person who murdered Dorota Shaw. I know that you are shocked, and devastated, and heartbroken. We will save us. the third person now. Probably. As am I. There is nothing more I can say. I hope you will join me now in a minute's silence to remember Ellis Munro. I have no more words. Nah, I refuse to be silent for that long. I wonder if it is possible to avoid her death.
I just told the actress, I need you to wait for a full minute. All right, next chapter. Sam, I have some bad news. We've done a group reading. Violet, it's, you. it's me. I know I'm not the killer. I don't know, Sam. I, I don't know what to say. Do I remember? It's hair? normally a dead sentence, but with you, it might be different. We all know it doesn't matter. Don't let it win, Sam. You hear me? You fight this. I will fight. I've called Chief Dupont already. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Sam, it's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence. Enough to arrest someone. But who? Make the right decision. Oh, you wow. You should be safe if we don't. Everyone seems guilty. Oh. We've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house. But it might not be enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? <sighs> You know what? I'm not going to take any hints. We're going to solve this ourselves. All right. Violet is an accomplice, but I don't think she killed anyone. Although she is really weird. Um, Zach definitely seems like he could be the killer. Rain has a past history of being arrested, but he seems innocent. Oscar seems innocent. Poe seems innocent. Bronwyn also. Lexi also. Well, you could arrest me. I wonder if arresting me would be safe. I honestly think it's either Chief or Zack. One of these, a uh, killer. Zack went insane for a moment. But at the same time... I think the chief is a killer, but I don't think he's the traveler. And I don't know why he would call me here. Hmm. Tough choice. I don't think Zach would have went with his craziness if he was a traveler, though. I think it's chief. This is serious, so I'm going to lose my patience. Rest yourself. <laughs> All right, let's go with Zach then. Zach, I don't trust him either. He's definitely I'm gonna die though, we all know it. Up myself. I don't think it's that. I think it'll be that. enough. Maybe he'll confess too. That would help. I'm gonna Good die. Luck, if you pick the wrong person, you're still in danger. Although I think I should have told him the rest of myself. Maybe it's less likely I'll die in a prison cell. You asked for these earlier. So I can go sure run in with them? you get some sleep now. You'll need it. Night. Oh, she's schizophrenic and she's off her meds. But that doesn't mean she's a killer. Yeah, I've seen people walk before. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, that was in I'm going to get visited by all of them. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and you seem to be. Well done, catching a killer, by the way. Well, hopefully you did. <laughs> Scream if you need me. It's one o'clock in the morning, and this is Poe with your hmm. August update. We don't normally have them at this time, but since there's a killer on the loose, I feel it's my duty to keep the radio station manned. I personally spoke with Chief DuPont earlier, and he thinks they're close to catching the killer. 
Until that happens, though, please lock your doors and stay inside. Remain vigilant. The light has faded, and so has my fortitude. I see things in shadows, behind doors and under desks. I hear the chattering of teeth and the glee of insects waiting to feed on me. The studio undulates like a heart that beats its last beats. I can't go on. I must to bed. Forgive me, Lady August. Forgive me. Yeah, everyone's thoroughly creepy. Sleepyhead, I'm so glad to see you alive. Huh. <laughs> Did I win? <laughs> Enjoy the journey, Sam. Don't think of things as ending. Something new is beginning. Zack is still locked up. He's being charged for murder. Travelers don't like being incarcerated, so they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind won't remember what they've done. And spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. Sam, come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and, well, just, will you? Sure. Really? Oh, Sam, that's wonderful. We could play some cards. Past the time, you know? Let's finish packing and we can leave this afternoon. Sam, thank you. We're going to change lives, believe me. Hey, sweet cheeks. You did good, real good. You win. A Lexi hug. <laughs> Sam, I'm just going to say it because you only live once and all that. Sam. I think I've fallen for you. That's really? it. That's all I wanted to say. It's out there now. We can get on with our lives. Well, maybe before saying that, you should have read the cards. That's a nice thing to say. I haven't fallen for you. I don't I really see. know you. Nice You're thing. You're a stranger. Well, stranger nothing danger. ventured, nothing gained. Heart wants what it wants. Perhaps you should Sorry, go for it's a while not in the cards. I'll be okay, though. I saw it. Sam, you're safe. No, I don't feel anything for you. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Get off me. I'm um, sorry. I don't know where that came from. No way. Yeah, I know. There's been a lot of death going around. Look, however this pans out, I just wanted to say thank you. Chief De Palma's gonna screw everything, but you kept it all together. The right was stopped. I'm but so surprised I won that. Unless it's a going twist. On all the time, so, so we gotta keep going. I don't know if Bron asked in the end, but I hope you're coming with us. I really do. Mm -hmm. Sam, you did good. I thought you would. Of course I did good. I mean, not that I've got a signed confession or anything. Yet. Apparently, I don't remember anything about the murders, but Bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over. Well done. You creepy you bastard. How could you tarot enjoy readers. That's a real big shame you were starting to get in here. But, good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Leaving August. On to September. And I've stuck to my word. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours, I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. Huh.
I am Dorota. I am 21 years old. Um, I love playing cello and I just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. <laughs> I just love cello. I love all string instruments, but cello is rich I find and it's deep very instrumental in my life. Soothing, at least to me. And no, cello is my hobby. But my real passion is <laughs> <laughs> It's silly. It sounds silly. Well, I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know. But it is possible. I think people make mistakes. They do things they regret and they say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time. I want to make better choices. You know why you're here, don't you? <laughs> no. Because you did well. And you know what happens when you do well? Uh, do I get a treat? Augmentation. Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Welcome oh, to... so close to being 3.14. 3.14. Ah. You can't steal my jokes. They made my joy, my jokes. Enter secret debriefing. Absolutely. Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. Are you human? Nah. Do you have feelings? Well, I guess I don't know if my character has feelings. Then we'll need to work on that. Do plants have feelings? I'm gonna say... Well... They have tactile feelings. Do they have emotional feelings? I... I would think not. We're gonna go with yes, though. It hasn't worked. It's stuck in compliance uh -oh. mode. Can we get someone in here, please? Uh-oh. Did I fail the secret debriefing? Can I skip previously viewed scenes? Can I go back to secret debriefing? What? Resume? I guess I have to go to new game? No! I could skip scenes if I create a new game, right? Ah, oh, that's what they mean. Who are you? Exactly. Rewind. <laughs> that's what happens if you don't shut up in the beginning. Alright, well. We're done with this game. If you want to know what happened to Seeker Debriefing, you'll have to look it up. Because I'm not skipping through every scene in the game. Um, that was a good game. Very short. Two and a half hours or so. Um, probably has multiple endings. Probably a little bit of replayability. I wish instead of a skip cinematic or whatever, or skip scenes, it allowed you to like view a branching um, paths and let you choose paths you haven't tried. You know, um, I think uh, Virtue's Last Reward handled it the best on uh, 3DS. The sequel to six six uh, no not six 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 <laughs> the sequel to nine 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 um, they let you see all the branching choices and you're like okay I went down this branch already so let's go to another I think that would be um, good for replayability and be able to see everything you know but I like the game um, tonight should be the last night if it all goes well should be the last night I have my headset I should be getting a microphone tomorrow and I look forward to seeing how that sounds I uh, don't know if I'll be on tomorrow night because um, I'll be setting that up and uh, if I do get on to tomorrow night it'll be very late but it might just be Wednesday that I'm on next so have a good night